What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video and today guys team of the week predictions we just got finished with red zone Sunday football just finished the Rams Cowboy game it was a great game Rams got the big W screw the Cowboys I hate the Cowboys I'm a Giant fan as you guys know um, so that's good for the Giants I mean do I think they'll go far who knows but whatever that's not the topic man it's team of the weeks a lot of players did really good this week so who knows who's gonna get the team of the weeks um, especially in certain positions, quarterbacks. There's a few quarterbacks that really did good. Running backs, a few running backs that really did good also. And even receivers. Receivers did really good also. So to be honest, I don't really know. Defensively, um, there are some players I have in mind. I have, honestly, I think, honestly, I think they're definitely going to get these Team of the Week cards. But there is two games tonight because I'm posting this in the morning. Um, Steelers Giants, who obviously a lot of players in that game could get some cards. And Denver and Titans. And in that game, I feel like a lot of people could go off. It really does depend on obviously how the game goes. But anyways, um, I'm going to start with the offensive side of the ball. We're going to start with Aaron Rodgers. Actually, no, we're going to start with Russell Wilson. Being we're on his power-up card. Russell Wilson, he threw, uh, I have the stats right here, so I'm, I'm not, 322, 322 yards and four touchdowns, no picks. He played great, and honestly, I know all this based on fantasy football, I was watching all day red zone. Russell Wilson was probably the top quarterback, I want to say, or Aaron Rodgers, either one of them. Uh, actually, I think it was Aaron Rodgers, yeah, it was definitely Aaron Rodgers because he had more yards. But maybe Russell Wilson has some rushing. Uh, who knows? I'll look at that in a little bit. But we're just going to start Russell Wilson. Uh, if you guys already have Russell Wilson, keep the card. Get his upgrade because he could possibly go up in price. Who knows the upgrade? And he's not that uh, he's not expensive right now. He's around 9K, nothing too crazy. So if you do have that Russell Wilson, I would pick up his upgradable. And if not, you can always just sell it, man. I mean, he's not going to go crazy down in price. So you do have that Russell Wilson. I would pick up his uh, upgradable card. And if you if not, I mean, it's okay. You can always just pick him up if there is a Team of the Week card. You don't feel like spending the coins now. Don't want to make your guys' decisions for you. But if not, I mean, you can always just get the Team of the Week when it comes out. It's not my decision, sure. But I do think Russell Wilson will probably get a Team of the Week card. And if not, it will be Aaron Rodgers. Why? Because he had 364 yards and four touchdowns and no interceptions. And, um... I mean, he played great. He got the big W. He he, Vikings were trailing the whole game. They could not get anything done. They, they had a lot of points, though. Adam Thielen went off. He did really good. But, I mean, uh, they just didn't. They couldn't get it, the job done. And uh, that leads on to Devontae Adams. He played absolutely insane. Uh, he had, I think he was the best receiver this week, to be honest with you. Um, he had 156 yards and two touchdowns. And he had how many receptions? 14 receptions. He did great. Um, I don't really know if you guys should get any of these power up cards. Honestly, guys, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not going to. If you have their power up cards already, keep them. Hold on to them. Don't sell them, obviously. But would I get them now? I'm going to be real with you. Don't get them now. Wait for the team weeks to come out. The cards itself, see who it is, and then maybe pick them up. And uh, I don't really know, man. But anyways, Devontae Adams did really good. We're going to go on to the next one. And that is uh, Julio Jones. Julio Jones played... Actually, mm, I don't know. I want to say Julio, but he had no touchdowns. But he had 157 yards. So I'm going to get rid of that. No Julio, my bad. Uh, Julio played great, though. DeAndre Hopkins played great on the Arizona Cardinals. He played absolutely insane. Uh, but not none of that, man. I'm going to be real with you. It could be... Honestly, it could be Calvin Ridley. 130 yards and two touchdowns. Calvin really played great. Uh, could he get one? Who knows? Adam Thielen could get one. He had two touchdowns, 110 yards. Uh, it really does depend on how Madden... I don't know. It really does depend, but it could be... I'm going to go with Devontae Adams, Calvin Ridley, or Adam Thielen for receivers. For receivers, then for quarterbacks, it's Aaron, uh, Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson. That's my definite picks. I don't see them doing Julio or DeAndre Hopkins. Just because of the TD count, but they are top receivers in the league, so like that does change a little bit. But I don't know, man. I mean, you got two touchdowns from Adams, Thielen, and Ridley, so I mean, I think they're gonna go around that direction. But we're gonna get to running backs now, and I'm gonna be real with you guys. Uh, I don't think CMC will get one because he's played way better than he has today. I mean, he don't get me wrong, he played great today. He always plays great, but he's had way better games than today. I don't think he'll get one. He did have the most. Uh, actually, no, he didn't. Hmm. 
I don't really know. I know Clyde Edwards is definitely going to get a Team of the Week card. He had the most uh, rushing yards for a running back, or just in general, most rushing yards out of the whole league. 138 rushing yards. He's a beast. Straight from LSU. Go. I really like Clyde Edwards. He had a touchdown as well. And uh, he played great. I mean, for a rookie, first game on. First game of the season in general. Thursday Night Football. He played great. Um, he basically got them their dumb, man. He played really good. Actually, no, it's a lie. Chiefs blew him out. But anyways, um, Zeke could possibly get one. He really feasted. But I'm just going to stick with Clyde Edwards for running backs. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no. Whoa, how did I forget this one? Josh Jacobs. It's definitely going to be Josh Jacobs and Clyde Edwards. If they, if none of them get it, I will be shocked. But they'll def one of them will definitely get it. Honestly, probably even both. Because they both play the best out of the running backs this week. Um, Josh Jacobs had three touchdowns and 93 yards. He also had some receiving yards as well. So he'll definitely be up on there with Clyde Edwards. I think it's definitely going to be both of them. But anyways, now it's time to get to the defensive side of the ball. I'm going to be real with you guys. Defensive side of the ball is a little iffy. But I'm going to be real with you. Chase Young... Uh, I was just watching the Ram Cowboy game. Alden Smith should be a big one here. I mean, he played great. You guys, if you guys were watching, you know Alden Smith. His first game back in a few years, and he played great. He got a sack, and he made some big plays. And uh, let me root you. I think he should definitely go on. Marcus May. He had two sacks, and he had a uh, forced fumble. So I think he should definitely get one. Um, I, Ryan Kerrigan, I think Ryan Kerrigan should get one. He played great. Chase Young, he should definitely get one. He played great. Uh, Ryan Kerrigan, I'm going to go back. Redskins defense in general, they played really good today. Uh, big comeback win against the Eagles. I'm pretty happy about that. As a Giant fan, I'm pretty happy about that. I don't like the Eagles. I actually hate the Eagles. But obviously, we know the Redskins are not as good as a team as the Eagles. I mean, I don't really know. They're both pretty bad. But who knows? But anyways, Ryan Kerrigan had two sacks. I mean, Ryan Kerrigan, two sacks is the, the league leading right now. So, I mean, I think he will get one because of that. But he played pretty good. Chris Jones, he could get one. He had three tackles and he had one and a half sacks. Um, Grady Jarrett, do I think so? Nah, but Chase Young, I think, could get one. He basically won the game for the Redskins today. He forced that fumble. That was a big one. And he had 1.5 sacks as well. So, I think he definitely will get one, Chase Young. He also had two tackles. He played really good. Um... Jamal Adams, dude. I'm looking at these stats. I'm trying to find. Uh, I had someone in mind too. I'm just trying to remember. Alden Smith is on here, like I said. Um, Jerry Alexander, he could actually be a good one. I mean, oh, Jerry Alexander's up there. Sorry, my bad. I blanked for a minute. These stats are really confusing me. But Jerry Alexander should definitely get one. He had an interception and he had a sack. I need a few tackles. So I think he'll get one for the cornerback area. Um,. Don't want to say Michael Brockers. No, yeah, no. No, definitely not Michael Brockers. No, I'm tripping. Um, Alden Smith, like I said before. Yeah, Jerome Baker had 16 total tackles. He had a sack and he had a forced fumble. So I think Jerome Baker will be up there. So for defense, guys, it's probably going to be Jerome Baker, Chase Young, Ryan Kerrigan, Alden Smith. I want to say Aaron Donald because he always plays good, but I don't think he'll get one. Um, honestly, oh, could be Janoris Jenkins too. He had a pick six. He had a pick six. Could be Janoris Jenkins. He could be on there as well. Yair Alexander, like I said, that's six. I want to say is right there. Um, Marcus May, he could be on there as well. And um, I want to say that's pretty much it. I do want to say that's pretty much it, but I don't know for sure. Um, there could be more though. There definitely could be more. But that's my main picks for the defensive side of the ball. And I, that's the main picks for the offensive side of the ball. So that's pretty much it for my team of the week prediction, guys. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new, like I said earlier. Turn on that Noti bell, join the Noti gang. But that's pretty much it, guys. Peace out.